Hi and welcome to day seven of the seven day walking challenge. Can you believe it? We made it. And I for one have so enjoyed doing this challenge. Running this challenge has really helped me bring an extra intentionality to my own walking. And I've so enjoyed doing my wonder walk. Yesterday I had a, such a fun explorer walk. Today I had a wonderful connector walk. So it's been a really great experience and I hope it has been for you too. Today I have an extra special walk for you. It's the gratitude walk. For me, life is a really precious gift and I try as much as possible to notice all the tiny miracles that it holds for me. Just before making this recording, I had a little nap and as I was getting into bed, I said thank you to my lovely bed for giving me a beautiful place to have a nap. And why did I do that? Because it actually makes me feel happy and safe and peaceful. So why wouldn't I do it? And there's an increasing body of research that shows that people who experience high levels of gratitude have also lower levels of depression, they have lower blood pressure, they have better functioning hearts, and they tend to sleep better. So there's good physical and well-being reasons for developing an attitude of gratitude. And gratitude is something that you can develop. It's not about being lucky or going on a fancy holiday. It's about noticing and looking for the tiny miracles that are right there every single day. We can actually train our brain to experience more gratitude, but it takes daily, consistent practice. And that's why walking is such a great training ground for developing gratitude. If you go for a walk every day, and if every time you walk, you think of three things to be grateful, you'll be well on your way to developing a really healthy attitude of gratitude. So how do we do a gratitude walk? It's very like a wonder walk in that you're looking out for all those tiny, wonderful things that are happening in your walk. But every time you see a wonder, I want you to say thank you for it. Now you can say thank you in your head or if you're brave, <laughs> you can say thank you out loud. So if I'm walking in the countryside and there's no one much around, then I will express my gratitude out loud. In fact, sometimes I'll actually shout it up to the sky. Thank you for this amazing day. Thank you for my boots. Thank you for the path, <laughs> whatever it is. And this might sound weird or woo woo, but all I can say is when I do that, it makes me feel really good. Gratitude is also a lovely thing to bring into a connector walk. So if you're walking with a friend and you see a lovely view or hear a beautiful bird call, then think about turning to your friend and saying, wow, wasn't that beautiful? Aren't we lucky? So I'm sure there's some of you who are watching this who are thinking, you know what, this is all a little bit over the top. But consider that we live in a society where the norm is moaning. The norm is to look at the negative. You turn on the radio and it's all bad news. We're not used to looking around us and finding the tiny miracles and then saying thank you for them. But however strange it sounds, I would love you to try it. Hopefully you'll have the same experience as me, which is that developing an attitude of gratitude really creates so much happiness, peace and a sense of well-being. And at the end of the day, isn't that what we're all looking for? So schedule that walk in your diary and look for those miracles and don't be afraid to shout out loud if there's no one listening. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>